Let's go see what we have in this bank den. And there is a beaver. Kind of nice how clear this water is, isn't it? What's up, guys? It is uh, Monday morning. I'm gonna go check the traps. And if there's nothing in there, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna move some around. Um, it's been about a week since I had a catch down here, but I know there's still beaver. So I think they're accustomed to where my traps are and all that. So I'm gonna move them if I don't have a catch. I got a plan for one and a, an idea, an idea for the second, so. Um, yeah, one will be in the dam, an actual dam break with a foothold. I think that'll catch because they repair the dam every time. And then I think I know where the, uh, where the bank den might be. I'll, I'll put a video in from one of the last checks. There was a lot of dust kind of kicked up in the stream when I walked in for the check. So, so I'm not sure if the beaver lives right here, but you can see all that water that's kicked up. I've not walked in that area. I say water that's kicked up, the dirt that's kicked up in the water. So once that settles out, I'll have to look a little bit more closely here to see if there's a bank den. I think I might throw a 330 there with a with an H stand. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. There's a couple areas where you can just tell the beavers are sitting and eating. There's one over there, another one. I don't necessarily know how to trap those areas, but I suppose if I did, It'd be pretty cool. So if anyone's got a recommendation, that'd be cool. And I see some water moving up here. I hope I didn't spook the beavers again because I kind of want to see up on this fallen tree is where I believe their bank den is. Tons of slides coming down, getting more and more active. That's a pretty good two sets of slides right there. You can kind of see them working straight down here. One up, or two of them right there where they're coming down. Was it here or was it further up? I think it was here. But I don't really see anything that screams bank den. Unless there's a run right here super deep comparative to the rest of the creek. I mean, I'm up to my mid thigh. So let's see if I can feel something here. Oh, oh yeah. There's definitely an entrance there. Let's see if I can feel anything else. Nothing. And this looks to be too And there might be one under there. I'm gonna throw a 330 back there where all that muck is, because there's definitely an entrance of some sort. All right, guys, not sure if you can hear me, but I'm gonna set up this Belial 330 on an H stand on this bank den, which I've never done. I mean, I've trapped bank dens, but I've never trapped uh, H stands, so I'm looking forward to that. Figuring that out. It looks like there's only one entrance on this side, but there might be one on the far side of that log. It's hard to tell, really, I'll be honest with you. But yep, I always like to use these safeties. This one's by Bridger. And I keep extra wire on there, which generally gets tangled but also if I need wire, it's kind of helpful. So we'll go up with them. Yeah, I like that pretty good. So we're gonna position this in the bank den entrance here. And I've seen people do this, mostly 330 Maniac is who 
taught me how to trap. But we wire the top of the H stand. Kind of do my blocking sticks just to make sure the uh, should be good to go. Once all that silt settles out, when I'm done putting this other trap in, I'll come back and have a look at it. Make sure I'm happy, but I imagine there'll be a catch in there. I'd be shocked if there wasn't. Calling it now. 40 plus pound beaver tomorrow morning in that one. Might be a little loud because I busted this dam. But essentially what I've done is made a poor man's anchor by shoving a bunch of sticks down in a drag. I'll show you here in a little bit. I'm gonna wrap that anchor cable to it and then run it down to deep water on that stake from last week. And then a couple sticks to kind of channelize the beaver where I want them. And we'll take and bed that uh, MV750 right here on a drowning cable. We'll get this thing bedded right here. But first I need to adjust this cable, so give me a second. All right, a little sweaty. It's crazy, it's November. So, MB750 bedded offset to the left on the dam break. A little bit of channelization here and here on the drowning cable down to what where I think is the deepest water in the area. And uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more work on that anchor up on the top end, just cause I've been embarrassed before by strong beaver, so. But other than that, we'll swing up creek real quick to see that thing settled out and uh, make sure it's set up good and then it's time to go. All right, should be able to see a little better now. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna throw one stick horizontal just to make sure they go under it. But now the glare is kind of defeating the purpose here, but I'm pretty happy with that. Again, it's November, it's like 70 degrees. I gotta sweat, but traps are set. I'm pretty confident for the morning on this one, but these are some pretty smart beavers, so. Look forward to checking it with you guys. See you then. Good morning. Trapper Tom here, gonna go do the first check. And I already see something that I don't like. Or maybe I do like it. The dam still has the break in there where I put that foothold. So either, I'll be an optimist here. Either the beaver got caught coming out of the bank den in that 330, or the beaver got caught in the foothold before he could fix the dam, or both, or neither. It's the best part about trapping, you just don't know. So we'll see if there's uh, anything going on here at the dam break, and go from there. So MB750 is still bedded on that drowning cable down to the cinder block. No beaver there. So we'll ease our way upstream. So many areas where they're just sitting there and eating. It's actually kind of incredible how much one beaver or a small group of beavers can do. I did see something yesterday on my way out that I want to investigate a little bit more closely as well. Coming up here far as maybe another entrance to a bank den. So I'm gonna have a look at that real quick before I check the trap. So right here is all that gravel that's pushed out from under that log that's on the side of the creek here. So I'm gonna have to check that out too. 
But first, let's go see what we have in this bank den. And there is a beaver. Kind of nice how clear this water is, isn't it? Looked like I got him going into the den. First catch on the H stand. About as good as it can be. So we'll get this feller out and uh, get out of here. That's a good catch. That's catch number three for the year and catch number two on my farm. That's not a bad beaver. So, I guess the H stand works pretty well. Makes it really easy to place a trap and get it right where you need it. Probably don't need that much wire on the top, but it is what it is. Another two-year-old beaver here. Get a perfect head catch. We got real narrow tails here in this creek. Not like the ones that were here last year. I guess I forgot to tie this thing off. <laughs> Good thing the 330 did its job. Didn't really go very far. A pro tip, watch these trigger wires. I put holes in every set of waders that I've ever had, minus these that my brother gave me. So trying to not do that. It's a good looking beaver. Again, kind of super narrow tails on these guys in this creek. Maybe because they don't need to swim too far and they just kind of turned out that way. But super good catch. I called a 47 pounder. I'm definitely off. We'll give him 25, 30 maybe. But beaver number two, I'm happy. I'm gonna get it reset and uh, go to work. All right, one last look at the beaver before I go to work here. Actually, I gotta put a card in one of my trail cameras. But, um, yeah, good two-year-old, probably the female. Um, and judging by, well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this was the last beaver, but I'm also thinking that maybe the other beaver still in that den on account that it was blocked by his dead friend. So I got him set. We'll leave him set for about a week. And uh, we might have handled the problem before it got too bad. We'll see you next time.